this uh, lecture, we discuss natin yung dalawa sa uh, napakaraming uh, error correction sa uh, direct measurement na no, sa surveying. So direct measurement yun yung ginagamit talaga natin ay tape para ma-measure yung isang line, yung length ng isang line or isang uh, distance. No? So hindi siya computed na uh, measurement kundi kinuha talaga natin yung actual na measurement gamit yung tape. No? So yun yung direct measurement. So sa paggamit ng tape, maraming uh, errors na nangyayari. No? So dalawa na tong errors na i-discuss natin ngayon. Meron tayong error due to temperature at error due to tension or yung paghila ng tape natin, okay? So, di-discuss natin yung dalawang yan uh, sa pamamagitan ng sample problem na ito. No? So, basahin lang natin yung sample problem. A line was uh, determined to be <coughs> 2,395.25 meters and then measured with a 30 meter steel tape supported throughout its length under a pull of 4 kilograms. So, ito bali yung actual na hila ng uh, tape natin no? during the measurement. And then, ito yung actual din na temperature during the survey, na yung field survey. The tape, is used of the tape used is of standard length of at uh, 20 degrees Celsius. So, ito yung standard temperature, tapos ito naman yung standard na uh, tension or yung pool. The cross-sectional area of the tape is uh, 0 0.03 square centimeters and the coefficient of thermal expansion and modulus of elasticity or yung Young's modulus natin, no? yang modulus dun sa strength ng materials natin, kung maalala nyo. Or, hindi ba pala kayo naka-strength ng materials no, pag may survey. So anyway, yan yung tinatawag din na Young's, Young's modulus. So, ma-meet ma nyo ulit yan sa strength ng materials. And then, yun. Uh, thermal expansion, tsaka Young's modulus, uh, meron dapat to uh, respectively. No? Respectively period. Okay. So, Itong thermal expansion, kasi yung metal na materials, katulad ng steel tape, meron kasing uh, nangyayaring expansion pag may increase in temperature. No? Tsaka meron din contraction pag may decrease in temperature. So, yan. Uh, Mamimit din din ilit yan sa strength of materials na sa stresses. Merong thermal stress na nangyayari no? dahil sa thermal expansion. Okay. So, anyway, uh, determine the error of the tape due to change in temperature. Kasi nga mag expand Kasi nga... Uh, Standard is 20, pero sa field ay 35, so nag-increase yung temperature. And then, meron ding error due to tension, kasi yung standard ay 5 kilograms, pero sa field ay 4 kilograms na lang. So, i-discuss natin una yung uh, temperature. So, due to temperature, due to temperature, so we have um, CT, or the correction due to temperature, so is equal to alpha. Uh, we have T mean minus T standard times your <coughs> measured na length, okay? So, ito, y uh, ito yung coefficient of uh, thermal expansion natin. Ito yung temperature sa field, mean temperature, ito yung standard temperature, tsaka ito yung length. So, compute lang natin yung uh, correction due to temperature. We have uh, 0 0.00001116 per degree Celsius. Times yung temperature natin, the mean temperature in the field is 35 degrees Celsius minus yung standard temperature natin na 20 degrees Celsius times yung measured length natin na 2395.25 meters. Okay, so magkakancel yung Celsius na unit natin dito. So, ang matitira na lang is meters. Okay, so CT is equivalent to we have 0 0.1234, apat na 0 yan, di ba? Apat na 0, tapos 116 times yung difference ng 30 minus 20. Ano, 35. That's 35 minus 20. Tama ba? 35 minus 20. And then we have times yung measured length natin na 2395.25. 2395.25. 2, so that's uh, 0. 4168, okay? 4168 meters. Okay, positive, no? Ibig sabihin, idadagdag siya dun sa measured natin na length na 2395.25. So, nakadepende yung sign ng uh, correction natin dito sa uh, ano ng temperature, no? So, mapapansin nyo, if uh, this temperature, for example, if, um, if Tm is greater than Ts, meron tayong expansion na nangyayari, no? So, expansion, kasi nga, pag may increase in temperature, merong thermal expansion na nangyayari. 
pag TM naman is less than TS, ibig sabihin, bumaba yung temperature, no? 20, for example, meron 15 lang dito, no? So, may decrease in temperature, meron tayong nangyayari na contraction, okay? Kasi nagna-negative na yung correction na ilalagay natin, no? Ang expected natin na correction is negative pag negative tong sign na to. So, this is now our correction due to temperature, okay? So, next naman is yung correction natin due to tension or yung pressure. Okay, so yung pressure naman, kunwari meron tayong uh, dalawang nagsusukat dito ng uh, distance. You have this one, meron din nagpakahawak ng tape dito. So, ito yung tape natin, for example, ito yung tape. Yan, so meron plumbab dito yan. Naka, ano? So, that's a plumbab, hinuhulugan. So, ito yung point A, tapos ito naman yung point B. So, kailangan mong hilahin yan. Meron kang tension dito. Meron din siyang tension dito. So, naghihilahan sila para maging perfectly straight yung tape natin. Di ba? So, yan yung pull. So, kapag standard pull, <coughs> ibig sabihin perfectly straight yung tape, me tape measure natin at 5 kg na tension. Pero, dito sa ano natin, problem natin, 4 kg lang yung actual na hila. Ibig sabihin, may tendency na magsasag no? or hindi perfectly straight yung tape natin. So, yung correction natin for um, uh, tension, we have C, T, uh, no, P na lang, no? kasi T na pala yung temperature natin. It's just equivalent to your P minus P standard times L divided by your A, E. So, ito ngayon yung cross-sectional area, yung A. This one is the E or the modulus of elasticity. This one is the field na pull or tension. Ito naman yung standard na uh, pull or tension, tsaka itong L is yung measured na length, okay? So, substitute lang natin yung mga values natin. We have yung P natin is 4 kilograms minus your uh, standard na 5 kilograms and then yung measured length natin which is uh, 2395.25 meters. Sa ilalim, we have sa denominator, we have uh, cross-sectional area of 0 0.03 centimeters squared. Tama ba? 0.03, ito yan, no? 0.03 cm squared, tapos meron tayong E, yung E natin is uh, 2 times 10 to the 6, unit natin is uh, kilogram cm squared, so we have kilogram cm squared, okay, so magkakancel yung cm squared dito, magkakancel yung kilogram sa taas, saka ito, so matitira is uh, meters na lang na, Unit. Okay, so calculate natin. We have as calq. We have um, <coughs> 4 minus 5 times uh, 2395.25 divided by 0 0.03 times 2 times 10 to the 6. Paano ba itong times 10 to the 6 dito? Uh, times 10 to the 6. Ito yata. Hindi ako nagkakamali. So that's uh, negative... Negative 0 0.0399 meters, okay? So, double check lang natin yung ano natin. Teka lang ha, we have uh, 4 minus 5 times, uh, times 2395.25 divided by 0 0.03 times... 2, ito yung, isa, yung ibang parante na para ma-sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so tama, no? Tama yung ano natin, 0 0.0399 meters. So, ito ngayon yung uh, correction natin due to uh, tension. So, kung mapapansin nyo, nakadepende din to dito sa uh, ano natin, na difference ng tension. So, kung mas mas uh, mas malaki yung tension sa field, magiging positive dun. So, ibig sabihin, sobrang na-stretch yung uh, tape natin. Pag uh, less than naman dito sa standard, ibig sabihin medyo nag-sag yung ano natin, no? yung uh, tape natin kasi hindi masyadong nahila. No? Hindi na meet yung standard na hila na dapat na ginawa. Okay? So, next na question is to determine the length, corrected length of the line. So, yung corrected na length of the line, so we have L final is as equivalent to 2395.25 Plus, yung, yung sa correction ng temperature, we have 0 0.4168 meters. Ito meters din, no? Minus, yung correction due to pressure na, kasi negative, no? 
0.0399 meters. We have L final, which is equivalent to 23. Ah, dapat uh, 2395.25.25 plus uh, 0.4168 minus 0.0399. So, yung final na length ng uh, line na na-measure natin kanina is 2395.63 or 627 meters, okay? So, ito na yung final natin na uh, distance talaga na measured, okay? Uh, of course, considering the corrections due to temperature and tension. So, medyo ano lang, no? maliit lang yung corrections na ano, nasa mga 0.3 something lang, no? Kasi 0.4 minus 0.04 din, ganun. So, 3 something, 0.37 mga ganun, okay? So, yun. Yan na yung uh, application ng errors natin. Uh, correction errors. Uh, error correction due to uh, temperature and tension, okay? So, yun. Yan na yun para sa video na to. And thank you ulit for watching. And see you sa next na video lesson natin. Thank you.